Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Grant to EduPack. In this video, we'll be using the browse function in the software to explore the links between data tables. These links connect materials to relevant processes, allowing for a materials-focused or process-focused material selection. Let's use the Level 1 database to demonstrate these links. On the homepage, we once again see the two data tables available at Level 1. Material Universe, and Process Universe. These data tables are linked based on which materials are compatible with which processes and vice versa. Let's use the Process Universe to open the record for injection molding. When we scroll to the bottom of the record, the last entry in the datasheet is for links. The material universe is listed. The number of data tables shown under the links will change depending on the database chosen. Clicking this link opens a new tab which lists the materials found in the Level 1 material universe that can be shaped using injection molding. This link can be displayed in two forms, tree or list. By switching to list view, we can see the top material is acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, or ABS. Double-click the material name to open its associated record. Now we're looking at the ABS material record. The links work in reverse, too. Scrolling to the bottom of the ABS datasheet, we can see a link to the process universe. Clicking this link opens a list of the processes that can be used with ABS. We can see injection molding is on this list. Double-clicking injection molding gets us back to our original datasheet. These are the links available in the Level 1 database. Remember that additional links may be available in other databases. For example, at the bottom of the ABS record in the MSNE database, we see links to the Elements, Process Universe, Producers, and References data tables. In this how-to video, we've explored the links between the data in Grant to EduPack through the Browse function. More information about Grant to EduPack can be found in the description below. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.